Join me and welcome our Father. Keep clapping. Keep clapping, keep clapping. Tonight is your night of new beginning. God will make difficult things easy. Oh, my God, I'm a 
Satan then Jehovah Ami Boyo Ami There are 502 persons that God shall heal tonight. I want to thank you for your ability to pick the music and dance it out. But a day will come. I will go from song to song. And the power of God will break out and break forth. And all of you will fall asleep and sleep for two, two days each. Uh, one man cannot be the only crazy man in town. If there's a madman in your place, I am also here. Huh? Can we, everybody, take your Bible, take your seat. Let's go to the book of Matthew chapter... 18 verse 20. Please, no noise making. Let us honor God and reverence him and respect him and acknowledge him and love him. Yes, sir. Right where you are sitting, come, come. No movement again. Every, everybody sit down. The Bible says, where two or three are gathered together in my together name. in the name of Jesus, he shall be there. Tonight, we are more than three, we are more than ten, we are more than eighteen. At the appointed appropriate time, the power of God shall break out and break forth and break through. And whatever is your sickness, it shall be broken. What does that mean? Right where you are tonight, the master is sitting between you and the next person. Therefore, get ready <clears throat> to be touched by God. Let's see the book of Matthew chapter 8, verse 16 through 17. Yes, now, when Jesus saw great multitude about him, he when gave, he saw great multitude around and about him, he gave commandment to depart unto the other side. Yes. And a certain scribe came and said unto him, Master, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. And Jesus said unto him, The foxes have holes, and the birds of the hay have nets, but the Son of Man had nowhere to lay his head. And another of his disciples said unto him, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. But Jesus said unto him, follow me, and let the dead bury their dead. When he had entered into a ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea. In so much there, that, arose, there arose a great storm in the sea. In so much that the ship was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. His disciples came to him and awoke him and saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he said unto them, Where are ye, Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this? And even the winds and the sea obey him. Go on. When he was come to the other side, into the country of Gennesaret, they met him too possessed with devils, coming out of the tombs, exceeding fierce, so that no man might pass that, that way. And behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God? Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? And there was a good way off from them, and a herd of men were swine feeding. So the devils besought him, saying, If thou canst cast us out, Suffer us to go away into the heart of swine. The demon inside these animals spoke and said to Jesus, have mercy on us. 
Don't, don't cast us out. Right where you are, there's what to call deliverance. Many of us, even though we are born again, cannot sleep well at night. And there are others who always have sickness. They are always sick. Tonight, I'm going to ask the power of God to confront what confronts you and set you free. When I was a young preacher, I used to get sick every other week until I went to God for deliverance. Now, 12 years ago, I went to see my doctor in New York. He saw me and began to cry. Doc, what's the matter? He said, you will die in one hour's time. Doc, can you shut up your mouth? If I slap you, you will not remember your mother's name. If I slap you, I will sit on you. When I get up, you will not be able to stand up. My, my wife said to me, you don't threaten and insult a, a medical doctor. Madam, stop. Every runner runs according to his sight. A blind man does not run. Does a blind man run? Tonight there shall be power of God setting men free from every form of attack of the enemy. I don't know how many of you are ready to be set free tonight. <clears throat> I don't know whether you know there are people amongst us tonight. They are always struggling for money. Satan hates to bless them with surplus supplies of money. By my spoken word tonight, many of you will go home blessed with surplus supplies of money. Can we see the book of Exodus chapter 3? Let's take verse 21 and 22. Yes, sir. And I will give these people favor. Right where you are sitting tonight, there's a promise from heaven. God wants to give you favor. Beginning tonight, wherever you will go hereafter, you'll be blessed with favor. Yeah. Favor means God will single you out for honor and for promotion and for, list, and for lifting and for surplus supplies of money. How many of you would like to have surplus supplies of money? <clears throat> I had a program for Emmanuel Osakwe in Lagos. The, a member of his approached me and said, Daddy Uma, I feel like killing myself. I want to kill myself. I am owing everybody. I am the poorest in my family. I'm tired of this life. This is no life. Okay, stop. God had just spoken to me that in seven years' time, you will be the seventh richest man. <laughs> Ask me, what? A poor man like me. I don't know what you are struggling with in your finances. But this night, what has a beginning has an end. <laughs> Do you know, seven years after he called me, he said, God has answered that your prayer. I am now the seventh richest man in Nigeria. And God has asked me to give you 13 billion naira. A day comes in every man's life that God will wipe away your tears. I gave one of you here in Port Harcourt, 60 million from that money. I gave another brother 40 million from the same Port Harcourt. 
I gave a brother in Calabar 40 million. He collapsed in the bank when they brought out the money. And they called me and said, the man who asked us to give money had just collapsed. Hey, pour both hot water and cold water on him. He must wake up and collect this money. I gave a young man in New York 40 million. I gave our former general superintendent how much? 40 million. <laughs> right where you are tonight. I want to declare that this night is the night of new beginning. This is my 78th year of preaching. I don't know how many of you know I have never borrowed money from anybody. I have never owed anybody. This is your night. The power of God shall come to visit you and to anoint you and to break the yoke that won't let you be who God wants you to be. There are people who are always struggling with money. They don't seem to have enough. Men and brethren, what has a beginning has an end. This night, you owe no more. You will borrow no more. Oluwa mi mo dupe. Oluwa mi mo dupe. Oluwa mi mo dupe. Mo dupe, mo dupe, mo dupe. I'm 
Satan likes it or not. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Let's see the book of Luke chapter 8. We take verse 1 through verse 3. And it came to pass afterward that he went throughout every city and village preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God, and the twelve were with him. And certain women which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, called Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils. And Jonah... I don't know whether you know it is possible for somebody to place a cross upon you and leave you struggling with seven demons. I don't know whether you also know there are people nothing they lay their hand to do prospers. They are always struggling in their finances. There are others who are always sick. When I was a young believer I used to have malaria every week until I made peace with God. It's now 22 years I have not been sick again. I even have found that this my hand is a healing hand. Your own hand is a healing hand. Can we see the book of Mark chapter 16? Let's take verse 18, 19, 20. What does and it say? And these signs shall follow them that believe. Right where you are sitting tonight, God is saying, these signs shall follow you. In my name. If you are a believer, if you are a child of God, you are no longer an ordinary person. Huh? Read on, sir. In my name. In my name. Shall they cast out devils. You will cast out demons. They shall this see. night, when the power of God shall break out and break forth and break through, you will have the power to say to every evil spirit, never again will you harass me. They if you're here tonight and you're listening to me, beginning tonight, every witch, every wizard that lives near your house shall be afraid of you. Yeah. Read on. They shall speak with new tongues. You will speak, speaking with new tongues means, is, means calling for reinforcement from the commander in chief. I used to smuggle Bible to China for God. One day they caught me with 300 Bibles. And they said, hey, 
put your suitcase on our machine. As I placed the suitcase on the machine and began to speak in tongue, the suitcase crushed their machine to pieces. And they asked me, are you a native doctor? Me? I am greater and worse than a native doctor. If I cause trouble here, some of you will not sleep again for one week. They said, oh, God, carry your trouble and go. Where, where were we in Anambra? And I told them, fire will rain. Pastor Joe, do you remember? Oko. <laughs> we went to Oko to preach with our helicopter. Native doctors got angry that I was wasting money that could have been used to do good and better business. They said they would deal with me. Ah, me, I like trouble. Ah, let the thing start now. No. I told them tomorrow when I sing and dance, your juju forest will go up in flames. I shall burn for how many days? 23 days. Non-stop. When you mess up the air while sleeping, we wake you up to perceive the order. You know, we arrived there. We arrived and the crowd was everywhere. And they said, the man has come up. He said, fire will fall and rain. I didn't say anything. I just sat down, waiting for my chance and my turn. When it was my turn, I got up and said to God, can you set heaven on fire? Do you know that that, that fire, that rain of fire, rained for 23 days, every day, nonstop. My mother asked me, who are you? Are you really a human being? What did you do? Ma, I'm not accountable to you. I'm accountable to he who is the maker of heaven and earth. Right where you are tonight, every rope the enemy has used to bind you shall be broken tonight. It shall be broken. It shall be broken. It shall be broken. It shall be broken. The day I dedicated my village to God, the chief priest dropped and died. My mother began to cry. She said, Oma, I don't know what type of child God gave me. When they kill you for killing this man, I'll be the next to die. Oma, where did I go wrong? What did I do wrong? Ma, this battle is above you. Relax and enjoy yourself. <laughs> and God said to me call this man his name seven times he will wake up and take him to not to the mortuary take him to your house this night is your night whatever had made your life difficult shall be broken this night If this God is your father, there is no man alive that can stop you from gaining your freedom and enjoying your freedom. <laughs> My wife and I, we had lunch in the woman's house. Two hours after, the woman came telling me, daddy woman, daddy woman, that food they gave you was poisoned and charmed. My husband gave you charm. Ah, no wonder the food was delicious. Madam, thank you. When you go, give her 50000 for cooking for me. She said, you didn't hear, you will soon die. Madam, shut up your mouth. Okay, read on. The Bible says we are the only people under the sun that can take poison and continue with our journey. And if they drink any deadly thing. The Bible says, if you drink any deadly thing. It shall not hurt them. Can you raise your hand and say, shall not hurt me. 
I'm sure you have heard I've been kidnapped repeatedly. <laughs> Every time they kidnap me, I will say to the cup of poison, you are no longer poison. You are now tea. I drink you as tea, function as tea. If you go beyond the boundaries of tea, whatever God will do to you, my hand not dead there. Sometimes they will beg me. Don't kill yourself because of money. I can you shut up your mouth? Right where you are tonight. I declare you are no longer an ordinary person. Oh yeah, we were an amekelegi wo. Take your seat. Those of you leaning on the railing, stay away. 
I don't want you to fall down from there. Not that if you fall, any harm will happen, nothing. But I want you to stay away from that really. This is your night. Every cross that may have placed upon you shall not be removed. Every woman looking for a child by my spoken word tonight, beginning tonight, every year, your punishment will be one child. Every year, one child. Every year, one child. There shall be an activation of your womb by the Spirit of God. That womb that was sealed shall not be broken. And God is going to wipe away your tears. You will cry no more. At your appearance, every load that may have placed upon you shall be thrown away. Right where you are, you are not alone. He who is God is by your side. And he will unite to fight whatever fights you. And that yoke shall be broken. It shall be broken. It shall be broken. Emmanuel. 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 come from premature death families where people die unexpectedly and prematurely. Tonight they shall be destroyed. It shall be destroyed. It shall be destroyed. <clears throat> Everyone who is part of our service tonight, you are going to enjoy what I call healing sleep. A woman came to my house for prayer. After praying for her, I sent her away, thinking she was going to go home. No, she went to a good hospital. All the doctors fell asleep. All the nurses fell asleep. This woman fell asleep. And they did not wake up until after two days. She came back looking for me to say he was, she was sorry that she did not go home. Almost every one of you tonight, by my spoken word, when you go home tonight and eat little dinner, you are going to sleep like a pregnant night nurse. And when you sleep, you'll be snoring like a woman who lost her key. And while you sleep, this God will purge you of every demonic force at work in your life. It shall be purged. It shall be purged. A governor of one of our states, I won't tell you which governor, called me by 2 a.m. and said, Daddy Omar, I am ready to die. I have not slept for 18 weeks. I am tired of living. I want to augur any man who wants to die will not call me. Uh, you are afraid of death. <laughs> Your Excellency, you are going to sleep for three nights without waking up. Do you know, he slept for three nights, called me again and said, I'm coming to you just to ask you one question. Are you a human being? Oh God, I eat God every day. And I eat uh, Okoroko every day. So I must be a human being. Right where you are tonight, the power of God shall visit you. And that yoke, the enemies have used to bind you, shall be broken. It shall be broken. It shall be broken. It shall be broken. Abawa Lamaka. Onye Abawa Lamaka. 
Ibene chendo abawa la maka ano mi roge onye wendo rolu abawa la maka akane me male eze muge abawa la maka ano mi roge onye wendo rolu kuwo abawa la maka ano rafa kuwo abawa si se jema no lumo abawa la maka children to, will trouble them no more. Yeah. May your children gain great freedom. Yeah. Whatever they lay their hand to do shall prosper. Yeah. Father, let heaven open over your children yeah. and let blessings come upon them. Yeah. Shall we all now take five minutes and pray. Tell all your enemies the battle has ended. You are going to be free. You are going to be healed. You are going to be made whole. That pregnancy that runs away every month shall not run away again. Father, whatever demon the enemy has placed upon you is now broken. It's not broken. Everybody open your mouth and talk to God. Talk to him. Tell him to set you free. Tell him to bless you. Tell him at your parents, every closed door shall open for you. Shall open, shall open, shall open. Father, every movement in everybody's life, every demonic attack is now broken. Your people shall be set free, shall be set free, shall be set free.
to get ready to catch those that the power of God shall flop against that the power of God shall put to sleep. When they're about to fall down, catch them. I'm looking for 12 persons. If you are ready to be an usher, as I declare the declaration of the Lord, you step out and catch those who like to fall under the anointing. And set them free, for their sicknesses shall leave them alone. They will no longer live a life of struggling and poverty. Wherever they are, goodness and mercy shall follow them. When you catch them, just say to them, sleep. Sleep only two times. And they're going to sleep for two minutes only. You lift them up. And they shall be healed. They shall be made whole. The power of God shall dwell in every one of them. Father, move from family to family, from person to person. Whoever comes from a family where people are harassed every day, this night set them free. Set them free. Thou power of God, in the name of Jesus, move. Now the power is going to move. Somebody help, somebody help, somebody help over there. Father, move from person to person, from family to family. All those chained, let the chain be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Thou power of God, in the name of Jesus, move. Somebody help, somebody help, somebody help. How many do we have? Three. That's number four in the gallery. Huh? Three, four in the gallery. What? We have four. That's number five. That's number six. Father, there are ten more people. Any name holding those ten. Any power fighting those ten. I declare shall fight them no more. Every sickness that has a name, I command. Let that sickness be driven away, driven away. Driven away, driven away, driven away. Father, any man that says at night, where is my God? 
Tonight, this God will demonstrate himself on your behalf. Everyone that says, how long, how long shall my problems last? This night, God will fight for you. Your problem shall end tonight. Tonight, 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 tonight. Thou power of God, in the name of Jesus, move. How many? Seven out of the ten. Huh? Remaining seven out of the ten. Father, move from family to family. Whoever has been chained by an enemy shall now be set free. 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 Thou power of God. In the name of Jesus, move. That's number five. That's number six, remaining four. How many? Six, remaining four. Father, there are four more. Every demonic spirit contesting the freedom and the healing of those four persons. Somebody, help! Don't run! Last three, the remaining two. Remaining two, yes. Last three, the remaining one. Nyiri medio, ni na fiubo. Nyiri medio, ni na fiubo, ngadi nyanga. Nyiri medio, ni na fiubo. Nyiri medio, Give me 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 medio, tonight all their victims shall not go free 
but I overrule the enemy. I demand that everyone who had ever cried and said, what is my God? Father, let your power be released on that person's behalf. Let them be set free, 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 be set free. Thou power of God, in the name of Jesus, move. That's number one. Eh? That's number two in the gallery. Yes. That's number three. That's number four. Somebody help. Father, move from person to person. Whatever cross had been placed on anybody, it shall now be broken. I want you to shout that amen louder. Yeah. Father, all those who cry and say, how long, how long shall my problems last? Let those problems end now. Amana, eye na basi amana mpaye. Amana, eye na basi amana msosongo. Oh, amana, amana mbo. Eye na basi amana msosongo. Amana, amana mbo. Eye na basi amana msosongo. Father, there are four people here who have difficulty sleeping well at night. And the enemy has sworn that they will never sleep well any night. But I overrule the enemy. I overrule the enemy. Let your healing anointing let your healing sleep come upon your children. There are four of them. Let your power arise. And let the enemies be scattered, be scattered, be scattered, be scattered, be scattered. Let them sleep as never before. Father, while they sleep, they shall recover their health. While they sleep, everything the enemy took from them shall be returned. While they sleep, they'll be blessed with good hunger. When they wake up, they shall be strong. They shall be strong. They shall be strong. Father, move from person to person and make them whole and make them healthy. Remaining only one person. Father, there is only one person. And that person shall have her freedom tonight. The enemy will return everything he took from her. It shall be returned. It's now returned. Confirm. Father, as we go from here to our respective homes, let your presence go with your children. When they will sleep tonight, they shall be healing sleep. And nobody shall disturb their peace. 
Father, take away every sickness the enemy has put in them. Father, may this night be the night of new beginning. A night of new beginning. Whatever we're taking from them shall now be returned. Be returned. Be returned. Be returned. Be returned. Be returned. Father, thank you. Almighty God, thank you. Thou who will always be, thank you. Thou who make the impossible possible, thank you. As we go from here, everyone shall get to his house safely. And no enemy shall block his way. Mighty God, thank you for being mighty and great. What a privilege. This year shall be our greatest year this in life. Yes, it shall be so. Everything the enemy took from us shall be returned. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. All those who know that they know that they know they have been healed. That God has remembered them and touched them. Can you stand up and raise up your hand and come to the altar to be prayed for? Come quickly. I want to seal your healing. It shall be permanent. Nobody will take it from you. Amana Eyena Base Amana Pae Amana Eyena Base Amana Sosomo Oh Amana Amana Mo Eyena Base Amana Sosomo Amana Mo Amana Mo Eyena Base Amana Sosomo Oh Amana Mo Amana Mo Hey, you na basi amana so so mo. Oh, amana mo. Amana mo. Hey, you na basi amana so so mo. Amana mo. Amana mo. Hey, you na basi amana so so mo. Oh, amana mo. Oh, amana mo. Amana mo. Amana. Hey, you na basi amana so so mo. Oh, amana mo. Amana mo. Hey, you na. All those who know that God has visited them and healed them, and that sickness will never return again. Raise your hand and shout hallelujah three times. As you go tonight, please never you say to anybody, I have no one to help me. God has promised to be your helper. And there is no man born of a woman that shall stop you from receiving help from him. As you go, this God will go with you. He will fight all your battles. Men may reject you, but he will never reject you. Don't use your mouth to create problems for yourself. Can you therefore raise your hand and say hallelujah two times? Can somebody count the number for us? How many do we have?
58. Huh? 58. 58. Yes, sir. Those who are happy to be counted among the 58, raise your hand and shout hallelujah. Father, as they go from here, let your angels be released to follow them and escort them and fight their battles. Father, no sickness shall return to them the whole of this year. They will go from strength to strength, from strength to strength. And whatever you have done for them shall be permanent. Nobody will take it away from them. Therefore, Father, bless them and honor them and provide their every need. Goodness and mercy shall follow them. And your angels shall follow them. They will enjoy good health. They will enjoy long life. Whatever they lay their hand to do shall prosper. Bless them with happiness and joy. Can you say the Lord is good? Say louder. The Lord is good. Father, may you be good to them. For I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a clap of praise to go back to your seats. Please keep clapping for Jesus. That is praying for prayer requests. Get the sacrifice lift. He praying for you tomorrow. Get the prayer request, and God Almighty is going to bless you. Please lift your hands up. Give honor to whom honor is due. Give honor to whom. Please, just one minute, and then we shall share the grace. Nobody, please, should run after him. Tomorrow is praying for expectation sleep. Is praying for this sacrifice as you are laid. Don't be forced for anything. Our service is supposed to be six. We are shifting it to 7.30. The main service that that is coming is by 9 o'clock. Remember, it's a nine days program. Daddy will be here tomorrow. Then Monday, early morning, Bishop Yomi Sijola is coming to conclude this program. Bishop Yomi Sijola. God spoke to me and I went there. God has been bringing this. People. Tonight, are you blessed? Tonight, are you blessed? The hold up was too much. The road was bad. That's why mama couldn't come out. I have to go to no one with all man of security to be able to move him to get to this place. He has not rested. I'm surprised that he's standing like this. Shall we give God all the glory? From no one, I need to carry him to get to this place. From no one, the road everywhere is for him. Praise the Lord. Are you blessed? We have something for you while you are going. Almighty God is going to bless you. I have nothing to say to you for coming to this program. All the men of God that is coming, I pray whatever is spoken shall be confirmed in your life. As you go, we cover you with the blood of Jesus. The enemy will not see you in Jesus' mighty name. Once more, to our friends, to our brothers, our bishop, to everyone. May God Almighty bless you. We love you. And as many of you, whatever is your expectation, heaven is going to answer you. No long talk. Please, on your way out, there's something we have for you. Lift your hands. Be blessed. Go in peace. Return with the answer. In Jesus' mighty name. Shall we share the grace in fellowship? May the 